welcome back to our next video all right remember to like subscribe and share in this video we are going to be looking at the reactions of alcohols and this is cape chemistry so you know that we have three types of alcohols we categorize them as primary secondary and tertiary and you should know that primary alcohols and secondary alcohols can be oxidized by by potassium permanganate and potassium the, the dichromate but the tertiary one will not be oxidized now if, if potassium permanganate oxidizes an alcohol i'm using sulfuric acid as the catalyst i'm going to expect it to change from purple to colorless and the dichromate from orange to green so the one where we don't observe a reaction should be the tertiary alcohol so i have labeled them a b and c you at the end of the experiment you can determine which one is the primary or which one is the tertiary okay so i want to pour some of alcohol a using my sulfuric acid which is the catalyst i'm going to add some all right and then i'm going to add a few drops of potassium per manganate so you can see it's purple well you should know that already this so the alcohol has just decolorized the potassium per manganate look again all right before i shake it up you can see you can see it going in all right gone so this is either primary or secondary alcohol because both of them will react with the potassium per manganate and the next alcohol i have it here the at the sulfuric acid Then it's time for the potassium per manganate. All right, so let's go again. All right, and then purple. Wait, nothing is changing. That means you should know which alcohol this is. This is our tertiary alcohol nothing has well it hasn't changed from purple to colorless it has the potassium per manganate has remained purple and like the other alcohol all right you can compare them mm. so we are finished with these two containers all right put them back in order Next test tube. All right. Let me not add the acid and as yet. So I'm just going to add the acid to the. I'm just going to add the the potassium per manganate to the alcohol. Purple mm -hmm. should change to brown. All right, let me add some more alcohol. That's interesting. All 
All right, let's do that again. Well, it's on. Oh, it's changing. Yeah, it's changing. So it's brown. Well, let me do it again. So, at the alcohol. I should have added it. I should have used this. All right. So, let's go. All right. Without the acid, it will occur a little slower. But it should have changed still. Want a little more? Let's add our acid. All right, so you can see it is changing. All right. Let's see if it would have changed quicker if we had added the acid to the alcohol. So this time, hold on. So alcohol, acid, then the dichromate. Not the dichromate, permanganate. I guess not. Yeah, this one is taking longer than I expected, right? But it still changes. So it's either the primary or the secondary. So we have container A, which are, this is one we use first, and this is the one we use second. Both of them decolorize the, the potassium per manganate. Now the product of these two test tubes, we know that primary alcohols are oxidized to carboxylic acids, well you can get the aldehyde and it may be further oxidized to the carboxylic acid and the secondary alcohol would be oxidized to a ketone so you could do further tests on these to determine if they are aldehydes or ketones alright so that's it with the potassium permanganate we also have the potassium dichromate in which we expect it to change from orange to green so it's the same process again let's start with a and to add some acid and then it's time for the potassium dichromate Not sure if you can recognize like an intense blue, bluish or probably a blue color. Let's shake it around and see what happens. Let's add some more. All right, so it's that intense blue color or mauve. Yeah, it's blue, and you can see it is changing because it's supposed to end up as as green mm. let me add a little more acid and see if it makes a difference all right so that's it 
this alcohol. All right, so that's with alcohol A. Let's try alcohol C. Because we know alcohol B is not going to give a reaction. So for this one, all right, let's add the potassium dichrocola. Right, so we are going to add the potassium dichromate. I think you can see it's changing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Wait, let me not. You should be able to see it. Let me have it behind a white background. Mm 